definite progress has been made. Almost two and a half months after China's aerospace industry tested its reusable rocket to the height of some 10 kilometers above ground, the Chinese commercial company did the same and achieved what they call new progress, verifying the secondary air ignition for such a test. Let's take a look at the launch pad before this mission. This is another vertical takeoff and landing test for reusable rockets here in China, and also the very first such test for the commercial airspace sector in the country. The rocket's first VTBL test flight happened in January. It reached an altitude of 350 meters, and this time it reached 10 kilometers. The mission on Wednesday lasted for some 200 seconds and went through the process of ascending, engine shutdown, and powered coasting, engine second start in the air, and soft landing. The test involves multiple engine starts and propellant management, which are the key technologies for us, and there would be more like the steady ground tests of a stainless steel rocket body as well as large-scale ground experiments involving the power system. The company says the test on Wednesday paves the way for reusable launch with large capacity, low cost, and high frequency. The test rocket used the same Methalox engine for the Jutia 3, a large reusable rocket scheduled to go on its maiden flight in 2025. Earlier in Beijing, I saw this model. This is one of the exhibition halls of land space. Just take a look at this giant thing. This is a real sized model of the bottom of the Jutia 3 carrier rocket. There are altogether nine engines here. Imagine the moment of the rocket's lift off. What a spectacular view it will be. Chen Yibing, CDTN, Ying Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center.